O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Hear our voice, O Lord, according to your faithful love. According to your judgment, give us life. Blessed are you, Lord God of our salvation. To you be glory and praise forever. In the darkness of our sin, you have shown in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. Open our eyes to acknowledge your presence, that freed from the misery of sin and shame, we may grow into your likeness from glory to glory. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. This evening may be holy, good, and peaceful. Let us pray with one heart and one mind. As our evening prayer rises before you, O God, so may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our hearts and set us free to sing your praise now and forever. Amen. Amen. Dear to me is your dwelling, O Lord of all. 
taken from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. The words of Jeremiah, son of Hilkiah, of the priests who were in Anathoth in the land of Benjamin, to whom the word of the Lord came in the days of King Josiah, son of Ammon of Judah, in the thirteenth year of his reign. It came also in the days of King Jehoiakim, son of Josiah of Judah, and until the end of the eleventh year of King Zedekiah, son of jo Josiah of Judah until the captivity of Jerusalem in the fifth month. Now the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. And before you were born, I consecrated you. I appointed you a prophet to the nations. Then I said, Ah, Lord God, truly, I do not know how to speak, for I am only a boy. But the Lord said to me, Do not say, I am only a boy, for you shall go to all to whom I send you, and you shall speak whatever I command you. Do not be afraid of them, for I am with you to deliver you, says the Lord. Then the Lord put out his hand and touched my mouth, and the Lord said to me, Now I have put my words in your mouth. See, today I appoint you over nations and over kingdoms to pluck up and to pull down, to destroy and to overthrow, to build and to plant. The word of the Lord. Thanks Praise be to God. Christ committed no sin, no guile was found on his lips. Christ suffered for you, leaving you an example that you should follow in his steps. He committed no sin, no guile was found on his lips. When he was reviled, he did not revile in turn. When he suffered, he did not threaten, but he trusted himself to God who judges justly. Christ himself bore our sins in his body on the tree, that we might die to sin and live to righteousness. 
By his wounds you have been healed, for you were strain like sheep, but have now returned to the shepherd and guardian of your souls. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. The second lesson is taken from the Gospel of Mark. Then Jesus' mother and his brothers came, and standing outside, they sent to him and called him. A crowd was sitting around him, and they said to him, Your mother and your brothers and sisters are outside asking for you. And he replied, Who are my mother and my brothers? And looking at those who sat around him, he said, Here are my mother and my brothers. Whoever does the will of God is my brother and sister and mother. Again he began to teach beside the sea. Such a very large, cr large crowd gathered around him that he got into a boat on the sea and sat there, while the whole crowd was beside the sea on the land. He began to teach them many things in parables, and in his teachings he said to them, Listen, a sower went out to sow, and as he sowed, some seed fell on the path, and the birds came and ate it up. Other seed fell on rocky ground, where it did not have much soil, and it sprang up quickly, since it had no depth of soil. And when the sun rose, it was scorched, and since it had no root, it withered away. Other seed fell among thorns, and the thorns grew up and choked it, and it yielded no grain. Other seed fell into good soil and brought forth grain, growing up and increasing and yielding thirty and sixty and a hundredfold. And he said, Let anyone with ears to hear listen, the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Forsake me not, O Lord, be not far from me, O my God. Forsake me not, O Lord, be not far from me, O my God. Make haste to help me, O Lord of my salvation. Be not far from me, O my God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Forsake me not, O Lord, be not far from me. Oh my God. Come, let us return to the Lord, for our God will richly pardon. Splendor and honor and kingly power are yours by right, O Lord our God. For you created everything that is, and by by right, O Lamb that was slain, for with your blood you have redeemed for God from every family, language, people, and nation, a kingdom of priests to serve our God. And so, to him who sits upon the throne, and to Christ the Lamb, be worship and praise, dominion and splendor, forever and forevermore. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Turn to the Lord, for our God will richly pardon. O God, whose glory it is always to have mercy, be gracious to all who have gone astray from your ways, and bring them again with penitent hearts and steadfast faith to embrace and hold fast the unchangeable truth of your word, Jesus Christ, your Son who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Eternal God, in whose perfect kingdom no sword is drawn but the sword of righteousness, 
no strength known but the strength of love, so mightily spread abroad your spirit that all peoples may be gathered under the banner of the Prince of Peace as children of one Father, to whom be dominion and glory now and forever. Amen. Amen. O God, the creator and preserver of all humankind, we humbly pray to you for all sorts and conditions of people, that you would be pleased to make your ways known to them, your saving health to all nations. More especially, we pray for your Holy Church Universal, that it may be so guided and governed by your good spirit, that all who profess and call themselves Christians may be led into the way of truth and hold the faith in unity of spirit, in the bond of peace and in righteousness of life. Finally, we commend to your fatherly goodness all those who are in any way afflicted or distressed, in mind, body, or spirit, that it may please you to comfort and relieve them according to their needs, giving them patience in their sufferings and a happy issue out of all their afflictions. And this we beg for Jesus Christ's sake. Amen. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, you hate nothing that you have made and forgive the sins of all those who are penitent. Create and make in us new and contrite hearts that we, worthily lamenting our sins and acknowledging our wretchedness, may receive from you, the God of all mercy, perfect remission and forgiveness through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Trusting in the compassion of God, let us pray with confidence as our Savior has taught us. May God, our Redeemer, show us compassion and love. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. <laughs> 